Hello, this is Eileen, the environmental educator, and um, in this video, we're going to talk about this guy. <laughs> Pretty much these days, uh, most people on the right uh, love this guy. He he does bring about some news that others won't. Um, so, you know, these guys <laughs> in the news, they, they don't have emails, and somehow the other day I... I was on his website, or I, I looked, and he actually does have an email, which is very rare these days when, you know, the web was new and mainstream propaganda, you know, was getting on it. There was some emails for, you know, shows, but now for the most part, you have to go through cumbersome forms to, you know, email these people, and um, it just gets lost. and. And these people don't care. The mainstream propaganda, they don't care. And um, the independent media, they don't care. And we all know Project Veritas, they don't care to expose the truth. So since I got an email, I was like, hey, Tucker, maybe you will um, go out there. Because, you know, who else won't care? Oh, that's right. Laura Logan. Tell it like it is. Yeah, yeah. Tell it like it is. Mm -hmm. She is. Uh, she has no agenda. Nobody owns her. She's an investigative journalist. She's not a fan of tyranny. But um, will, will she expose that all environmental voices are preventing solutions for odds? No. So now I'm hoping, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm at least asking Tucker, too, now that I have his um, email. So this was my um, first email to him here. This was uh, February 10th. And I said, uh, Tucker, well, actually, Tucker Staffers, <laughs> hey, I just learned you have an email. And I tell them all, environmental voices are preventing solutions fraud. This is what has been prevented. Uh, the world needs you, Tucker. Not even Project Veritas will expose this one global truth and massive global fraud. So um, that was sent. Um, that was February 10th. Then, then uh, February 20th, two nights ago, I... I did it again. I think he did a story about Oasis Crazy, and, and I reminded her, look, right, look at her, look at her, her tweet here. If you don't like Green New Deal, then come up with your own ambitious on-scale proposal to address the global climate crisis. Until then, we're in charge, and you're just shouting from the cheap seats. I'm like, uh, no, I'm not shouting from the cheap seats. I actually have the solutions, not the ridiculous need this you proposed since November 93. Uh, it's just no one, <laughs> including you and uh, Mr. B.S. Bernie Sanders, will allow it. And then, you know, this is her <laughs> her starting her Green's newest disaster and two years later celebrating it um, just with her disposable cups and spoons and lids, uh, cups and spoons, and just, just a, a disgrace. And then this is her flying private. And um, you know, I, I tell Tucker, hey, you can, you can actually uh, have you some fun with uh, Oasis Crazy. She is kind of a target of his. And um, so since no one else will tell you this truth, um, today uh, I, I'm going to send Tucker another email here. Um, well, you know what? L let's get back to these emails here. This This one here, I think. Yeah, look, look at all the people on here. Now, this is, uh, okay, Project Veritas, Project Veritas, uh, Laura Logan, uh, Infowars, uh, Ivy should be heckled off the planet, that buffoon that Project Veritas, you know, gave a platform to because, oh, my God, she was censored. She wanted to ask about drugs for COVID, and, and her bosses censored her. They don't know, you don't have the right to censor, and the first thing she did when Project Veritas gave her a huge platform was censor that all environmental voices are preventing solutions for us. When she does it, it's fine. Well, huh? No, no, I, I cover stories I want to cover. Well, no, Ivory, you know, you got your platform based on you can't censor. You're a journalist. When truth gets put on your desk, you tell it. But no, no, not this Barbie. She, she's just a Barbie. She's she's just embarrassing. And uh, Greta, uh, Greta the Fraud, uh, Redford Center, Gore. Uh, that's, um, oh, Mike Adams. Yeah, he won't. That's Vail. The first people, the um, corporate offices, the CEO and president's office of Patagonia. 
The New York Times, Rebel News, Page Six, Rolling Stone, The Intercept, The United Nations, uh, The New York Post, Mediate, Mediate, uh, Sky News, that's Australia, I think, uh, Rebel News, uh, that's the DC Clo Line, the United Nations, United Nations Environmental Executive Offices, uh, the Huffington Post, uh, the Gates Foundation, 60 Minutes. They won't tell you. They'll do specials about um, Greta, but will they expose her? No, no, no. The Royals, the um, Urshot, the, the Royals who are preventing light years better than they're giving awards for. Uh, Alex Newman, who actually interviewed me and then just won't run the interview. And yeah, I'll, I'll do a video about him. I mean, his emails, no, I mean, it was good. I had a good time. Maybe my boss will let me. But, um, yeah, he still won't. I said, when he went on to a variety on, I'm like, hey, Alex, how about now? Oh, well, we'll see, you know? I'm like, yeah, okay. Okay, we'll see, Alex. So, um, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, Trudeau up there. <laughs> yeah, everybody's friend up there in Canada. McKibben, what, what an absolute environmental fraud. Now, you know, McKibben and Gore and um, maybe, uh, maybe they're not on here, but, uh, well, Auden from Aspen, he, um, he's, uh, oh, Mary Molino, he's with uh, Protect Our Winners, and, um, you know, now all of these nonprofits, they are all just robbing from the public, just, just robbing the public blind, and, um, oh, yeah, Protect Our Winners here, um, now right here, oh, info at, <laughs> they get a lot of Ones for me on The Intercept, uh, May, the executive director of 350, Info at One. Uh, that's Bono's group, um, yeah, down there in New Zealand. And uh, that's the invite. Oh, this is Leonardo DiCaprio, Leo, that, that uh, well, actually came back. And uh, oh, this is to uh, Governor Jay Inslee's office. And, um, you know, so this is just a, a good mix of some really high profile environmental voices and some high profile news that will not will not give you news. So, um, y you know, this is, th these people get emails from me and uh, yeah, I, you don't get emails back because they just can't be bothered with solutions. So right here tonight, um, this is my, my email to Tucker, Project Veritas, Project Veritas Legal, Project, Lo oh, Laura Logan. Yeah. Oh yeah. So she'll be jumping up. Um, you know, I, I just, again, say, get this to Tucker, and um, you need to give the world the one environmental truth that there is. So I, I just lay it out here. You know, I say these um, can't be argued against. They're real. They're needed. They're sensible. They're immediately implementable and will produce massive immediate betterment. And uh, they would have solved our problems decades ago. <laughs> But um, we'll see. Uh, so I'm asking Tucker, you know, I, I lay out what's needed. I tell him I called out the mainstream propaganda a decade ago in my book. But, you know, the independent truth media, they they won't expose any of this. Neither will Project Veritas. You know, I told them to uh, watch some of the videos I've done, even the one I did that got released yesterday, February 21st. Um, it's just really sad that Project Veritas is unfortunately um, not exactly everything they proclaim they are, and um, and the world has to suffer, and the world needs this truth. Whether James O'Keefe cares about the environment or not, the world needs this truth, and that's his job. And as a journalist, you do your job. When when massive corruption and fraud in global corruption and fraud, and the one global truth there is gets put on your desk, O'Keefe, you expose it when you put yourself in business to do that, okay? So, but he won't, he won't, because uh, O'Keefe O'Keefe is a fraction of what he proclaims he is, and he doesn't really, he doesn't ever expose anything. He tells you what you already know. He verifies it. This would actually be exposing something, but, you know, then I remind Tucker that, um, you know, all environmental nonprofits are, you know, robbing the world blind of their donation dollars. So maybe you could help out the people and, you know, keep them from being robbed blind, Tucker. And, um, you know, then I, I tell him that the tyranny is coming because we don't have environmental solutions, climate police, carbon taxes, etc. They're all unnecessary. 
we just need real solutions and the tyranny must be prevented. So that means uh, you get to tell the world your buddy, Oasis Crazy, uh, and her green's newest disaster isn't needed. And um, maybe Tucker will. Um, like, be the one journalist the world has. <laughs> so let's see if the world has a journalist, because so far, environmentally, no. There isn't any. So this right here, this is all drafts. This is um, three of the same emails. Um, I, I do this. <laughs> People love me. Project Veritas loves me. When every Everybody loves me, not just Project Veritas. When um, they, they get to their inbox and there's multiple, sometimes before my email service every so often called me out <laughs> on something and uh, made me feel like I might lose an email. I mean, I've almost filled up complete inboxes. Like when you look at your screen, it's the exact same subject box because none of these people ever reply back to you. So uh, my emails must be getting missed. So to try to make sure that they don't get missed, I send a bunch in a row. So there's one. And I, I usually do it much later at night than this so that you stand a greater chance of... um of uh right here three of them right in a row <laughs> these are T tucker the other night that, that's a video i have coming up about ocean cleanup let's um let's partner up but um so right here tucker be the journalist that um the world needs and um in the process, you'll get to expose that we don't need Oasis Crazies, ridiculousness, and tyranny, and the world will greatly appreciate you. You'll get a Pulitzer. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but um, you'll get any award that Project Veritas gets. They should just hand it over to you for them being such absolute disgraces. So stay tuned, people.